question is that the motion be agreed to. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. Carmel Cipollone. Mr Speaker, I'll just say from the outset that um, Labor has decided that we will support this bill to select committee. Um, and before I get started on the content of the bill, um, I just want to um, acknowledge Sir Peter Sharples because actually his own wife um, just recently had a kidney transplant. So um, our thoughts, I'm sure, from the whole of Parliament are going out to um, Peter Sharples, his wife, um, and I also acknowledge his son Te Hira Painga, um, who recently opened um, me, Calvin and Penny's office, or blessed our office, in, um, on West Coast Road in Glen Eden. So thinking of um, Peter Sharples and his family at this time. Um, Mr. Mr Speaker, um, this is an issue that um, many New Zealanders will look at and think, OK, this needs to be done. Such a selfless act for anyone to consider um, the idea of, trans tra of, of donating um, an organ um, while they're still alive. Um, and so it is a selfless act and so it is something that we support. And I do want to reflect back um, on Labor's time in government when Annette King was the Minister of Health, um, when Labor did attempt to address this issue. Um, Annette King introduced changes in 2005 that put in place minimum standards for the weekly amount of income assistance granted to live organ donors to offset some of the donors' income loss. Um, and that was that they could actually receive the sickness benefit. Um, now that would you know, in, in terms of being able to hold them over while they took that time off work. Um, the direction also provided for childcare assistance and for up to 12 weeks um, that could be claimed um, after the operation. And so this childcare uh, support will be continued under the new bill, um, which is good to see. And um, before the Labor government's changes in 2005, live donors had to rely on employment support um, to take extended leave. Um, Mr Chair, we support this bill to select committee, but we believe that there are some anomalies that may need to be fixed at select committee, and we can have that conversation there. Um, so, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr Speaker, what we see is that this bill would revoke the 2005 ministerial direction and increase the level of financial support to live organ donors to be the same as that would be paid to a donor under the Accident Compensation Act 2001 if the time off work had been due to injury, which is 80 per cent of pre-operation earnings for a maximum period of 12 weeks. Um, and as I said, the bill also provides for child care assistance if the donor is the principal caregiver for a dependent child who is less than 14 years old for up to 12 weeks, and the amounts payable will be pre prescribed within the regulations. Um, Mr Speaker, we know that not only is it a selfless act to um, consider even donating an organ, um, but also that there is a period of time in which that person needs to recover. Um, and considering that we have an issue in this country with the availability of um, organs for donation, um, then that is why we would consider this bill. And, you know, we, we congratulate Chris Bishop for getting it pulled out of the ballot, um, for putting it in the ballot in the first place. Luck. And, and, pardon? Luck. Luck. Well, take, take, take the win, um, Chris. Um, it might be one of the few that you have. Um, and, um, Order. Mr. Order. The member's referring to me at the moment. Okay. Apologies. The speaker will have many wins, but Chris Bishop may not. Um, oh. And so, um, Mr. No, okay. No, I, I mean, the member will resume. Sure. The seat. I mean, much as the member's trying to appeal to me, she must not bring me while I'm in the chair into debate. Carmel Cipollone. Apologies, Mr Speaker. Um, so there is that period of time where the person who donates the organ needs to recover, and we want to remove that stress. We want to make sure um, that they don't have that stress that when they are considering um, whether or not they will, um, they will do this, that that's not one of the things that will put them off doing it or not one of the considerations they have to spend too much time um, stressing over, Mr. Um, Mr Speaker. And of course the issue around childcare um, is huge as well. How will I earn money? How will I feed my family? Who will look after my children? Um, those are the considerations that those who are thinking of donating an organ whilst they're still alive will have. Mr Speaker, we did look into 
um, some of the issues that we have with donations in the country, uh, in New Zealand at the moment. And there have been no live adult donors for liver transplants in the last three year, three calendar years for adults, but there were five live adult donors for children in the last year. Um, in 2014, there were 72 living donors of kidney transplants. Plant uh, transplantations up from 58 in 2013. Um, although that's an increase, it's, it's not a steep enough increase to meet the need that we're facing here as a country. So we will support the bill um, because if this is going to mean that we can meet the need um, of New Zealanders out there who are requiring um, organ transplants, then why would we not support this bill to select committee to at least have that conversation? And when it goes to select committee, we can have that conversation about what the anomalies are, um, about the changes that need to be made to the bill, um, about any concerns that any of the political parties have, we can look at the submissions that come through um, and consider the concerns that are raised from the general public as well. Um, and so, Mr Chair, we look forward to that select committee process. Um, but again, I just want to say um, we commend the member for putting the bill in and just want to say that we um, look forward to having the discussion, um, considering the legislation, um, listening to the submissions, hearing from the families that this may um, this may that this may benefit. I'm hearing from, I'm sure we will hear from families who were not in the position where they had um, donors who could um, provide organs for family members who unfortunately, I'm sure, um, were, may not um, be here right now. So thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Simon O'Connor. Well, look, thank you very much. I'm conscious that uh, one gets five minutes 